Hey guys, it's Dr. Braddock and I wanted to take a quick second to explain something that's extremely important. And you're probably wondering why I'm holding the medicine ball. And this is actually an eight pound medicine ball that I just ran next door to the gym and grabbed. Now the reason I grabbed the eight pounder is because your head, the human head, weighs roughly eight pounds. So if you think about it, eight pounds isn't really that much weight unless it's not supported correctly. Now when we're looking at people from the side, we always want to have our ears right above our shoulders, right above our hip, right above our ankle. So we want to have good posture. A lot of people are looking like this. Their head is called head forward posture. And you can see below this video, I've put some research. Um, this isn't chiropractic research. This is medical research to show what sort of tension and torsion it pulls on the spinal cord uh, and how it affects your overall body with each and every centimeter of, of head forward posture that you have. So a lot of people, if you think about it, we're on computers all day, people, you know, your kids are slumping, all your kids are walking around like this, and that head's leaned forward, your shoulders are rounded. Imagine this, if I held this eight pound ball like this, my hand and wrist and elbow are meant to support weight in this fashion, I could hold it forever. We could do an hour long video, I promise we won't, but I could hold this, video, this ball here the whole time. Now, if I started to put the ball out like this, you can see it won't take very long. You can't see it, but I'm getting a little bit of a tremble here. The longer I talk, the harder this is going to get, the heavier it's going to get. My muscles over time aren't meant to support weight this long. They're going to start to fatigue and that ball is going to start to fall. And if I do this very long, I'm going to start to get some muscle spasm. I may even be sore tomorrow from doing this, okay? Because this is not the proper configuration. So every time that your head is leaned forward, it's the same way. It's putting tension and pressure on the muscles attached to the base of your skull. So you people who have headaches, it feels like someone whacked you in the back of the head with a bat and then the, the nerve crawls up the back of your skull on one side or the other. Those headaches are from head forward posture. Not because you, God didn't put enough Excedrin in you. There's actually a structural reason that you're having those headaches. As your head leans forward, it starts where those muscles are anchored down here in your shoulders. You start to have these trigger points and these tight muscles and tension. You come in and you say, you know what, I just carry my stress in my shoulders. BS, you know, there's a reason your body's meant to support, you know, it's meant to under to endure stress. We just want to make sure structurally everything's sound. Your shoulders are back, your chest is out, your head's above your shoulders, and this is the sort of posture we want. Now your kids are the same way. They have to sit in a chair all day long at school. They're staring at computers, they're looking down at books studying. Uh, their posture is going to affect their overall health long term. So that's why we need to get everyone in here and get them checked. We want to uh, address your structural issues posturally, uh, and we do that through chiropractic care. So head forward posture, it's a big deal. It's something you have to struggle with because it's part of the, the nature of our society where we're on computers a lot. So rather than be like this, you want to constantly think and be cognizant of that to bring your head above your shoulders. Make sure you take a second to check out the information below, you know, the... Uh, the research that I put below and that you can share this with other people. So send a link. If you're going to forward uh, every other, other ever email you get today, go ahead and forward this one because it can actually positively affect people's health. I look forward to seeing you in the next adjustment. God bless.